The Zone. Hi, I'm Melissa McLeod. I'm a yoga instructor and a personal trainer with Bloom Yoga. Today I'll be taking some zoners through the paces, showing them different poses, how to build some strength, detoxify, and generally feel better after the holidays. Please make sure every pose feels safe and comfortable and appropriate for you if you're trying at home. If it hurts, don't do it. Thanks for joining us today. So today I'll be showing Paul how to stretch out his hips. Most people have pretty tight hips. We'll take an easier posture, starting on your back, please. And pick one foot up and cross your ankle over your thigh. Yep. And then you can stay there if that feels okay, or to go a little bit deeper, pick your back foot up off the floor. Is this one? Yes. Yes. And you can reach that hand through the middle. Yes. And that hand around the back. Okay. To pull the legs in a little closer to the chest. This was sounding like a twister game. <laughs> Let your shoulders relax. Yeah. Move your chin to your chest, relax your back leg. So this pose is great for stretching out tight hips. This is the medium version. If this was too deep, to make it a little bit easier, the back foot comes down to the floor and release your hands. And then, sorry, just release that one. Uh. And that hand can just push your knee away. Uh. Yeah, uh. that's it. So this would be an easier variation of this pose. To go a little bit deeper, there's a pose called pigeon pose. So for that one, come on up. Um, let's go from downward dog. So. Spread your fingers wide. Mm -hmm. Tuck your toes under, push your hips back. Yeah, and lift up one leg. Yes. Yeah, and then pull it forward. Mm -hmm. Pull your knee towards your chest. Perfect, shin crosses over, he's an expert. Let your back knee drop down, let your back foot untuck, and your back leg extends behind you. That's good, Paul, walk yes. your hands back. Mm -hmm. I'll walk them back. Take a breath in. <laughs> I know, <laughs> and then exhale, come forward. That's it. Is that okay? Yeah, it feels a little unnatural. so nice. So this stretch might be really strong in the hips, but there shouldn't be any pain in the knee. If the knee was hurting, you need to come out of it and go onto your back again. Okay. Do, you want, do you want to try the other side just to even it out? Sure. Okay. So you can switch by tucking your back foot under. Yeah, like this. Yeah, and then pushing back to downward dog. Gotcha. Yeah. And then this leg comes forward. <laughs> Perfect, yeah. Back knee drops down. Yeah. Back foot untucks, walk your hands back. Breathe in, pull it forward. Yeah, so you can come down, you can come down to your forearms if it feels okay. More like sound effects, like It's important as well, a lot of people hold quite a bit of tension in the jaw, so still finding some softness in your jaw, maybe wiggle your jaw. <laughs> it's okay, stick your tongue out. Uh -huh. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> And that's it, that's pigeon pose, a great pose to help bring a little bit more flexibility into the hips. I'm having a crazy night. Mahalo. <laughs> 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 it's Mahalo. I thought you were going to say your thing. <laughs> The Zone at 91.3. Modern Rock.